There are several different ways how you can set up Tailwind CSS, but today we're focusing on one of the fastest and most popular methods. First, let's head over to tailwindcss.com and navigate to the documentation section. Basically, there are three main ways how you can install Tailwind CSS. Probably the simplest and fastest way is with the Tailwind CLI tool, which by the way is also available as a standalone executable, so you can even use it without installing Node.js. Alternatively, you can install Tailwind as a post CSS plugin or refer to the framework guide section for instructions specific to your framework of choice. So depending on your project's needs and your preferred development tools, you can simply choose the matching installation guide and follow the steps. In this video, we're going to use a very common and popular approach and install Tailwind CSS with Vite into a React project. So for that, we need to choose Vite here in the framework guide section. For this approach, you first need to make sure that you have installed Node.js. If you haven't downloaded already, head over to nodejs.org and you can download it right here for free. If you're not sure, just open the terminal and type in node space hyphen v and press enter. This will tell you if Node.js is already installed on your PC or Mac. And if so, it will also show you the version you have currently installed. So in my case, I have the version 22.5.1. After that, we navigate to the folder where we want to build the project in. It's not recommended, but for simplicity, I'm going to use the desktop for this project. So I have to say CD for change directory and desktop and press enter to navigate there. Now let's jump back to the selected installation guide. And copy the first line here to create the Vite project. Make sure to change my project here to your project name. So in my case, let's say the project is called Tailwind Project. And press enter. Then with the second line, we change directory into the new generated folder. So in my case, I have to say CD Tailwind Project, like so. The next thing I would do is type in code space point and press enter to open the project directory inside VS Code. Then go to view and terminal to open the terminal again. After that, we copy the next command. And with that, we installed Tailwind into our project. This may take a few seconds. Perfect. If we now take a look into our package.json file, we should find Tailwind CSS as a dependency in here. Moving on, with the next command, let's copy the next line, and this will create the configuration files tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js for us. And then, as you can see in the installation guide, we need to add something to the tailwind.config.js file. So let's copy the blue mark text here and open the tailwind.config.js file. And then we have to paste it in right here. And of course, save the file. Next, we navigate to our source folder and open the index.css file in there. Then switch back to the installation guide and add the following lines at the very top of this file. And of course, again, make sure to save the file. After that, we're going to start our project in the browser window with the command npm run dev. So let's copy the command here as well and paste it in. Now let's copy the link here and open it in the browser window, press enter. Perfect. And that's basically it. So let's close the terminal for now and try if everything is working. 
Let's navigate to the app.jsx file for that. And now inside the return statement here, let's say we want to add the color red to the h1 headline here. So for that, we need to add the class name attribute here and add the value text red, say 500, then save it and take a look at it in the browser. Perfect. As you can see, it worked, which means the installation was successful. Before you click away, I'm currently working on a huge new project. If you want to know more about it, all informations are in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comment. If you want to get better in Tailwind, choose one of the following video suggestions. Thanks for watching, destroy the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!